My name is Fritz Wicky, I can be kind of prickly. This song had better start by giving me priority. Whatever anybody says, I said in 1933. Observe the coma cluster, the edges of the galaxies, and fly some big velocities. They're moving so fast, they must be missing mass. Dark matter. Dark matter, do we need it? What is it? Where is it? How much? Do we need it? Do we need it? Do we need it? Do we need it? For nearly 40 years, the dark matter problem sits, and nobody gets worried because it's only crazy fritz. The next step's not till the early 1970s. Asteroid fur and people, dynamics of the galaxies, coldest instabilities. They say if the mass was sitting in the stars, all those pretty spirals ought to be bars. Self-gravitating disks, uh-uh, oh no. What those spirals need is a massive halo. And hey, look over here, check out these observations. Vera Rubin's optical curves of rotation. They can provide our needed confirmation. Those curves aren't falling, they're flat. Dark matter's where it's at. Dark matter, do we need it? What is it? Where is it? How much? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? And so the call goes out for the dark matter candidates. Black hole snowball gas clouds, low mass stars or planets. But we quickly hit a snag because galaxy formation requires too much structure in the background radiation. If there's only baryons and adiabatic fluctuations, the Russians have an answer. We can solve the impasse. Ubimov has shown that the neutrino has mass. Saldovich cries pancakes, the dark matter's hot. Carlos Frank, Simon White, Mark Davis say not. Quasars are old and the pancakes must be young. Forming from the top down, it can't be done. So neutrinos hit the skids and the picture's looking black. But California laid back, Blumenthal and Premax, they don't have a heart attack. There's lots of other particles, just read the physics articles. Take this pretty theory that's called supersymmetry. What better for dark matter than the LSP? The mass comes in at a twiddle KEV, and that's not hot, that's warm. Jim Peeble says, war, don't be half-hearted. Let's continue the trend that we have started. I'll stake out a position that's bold. Dark matter's not hot, not warm, but cold. Well, cold dark matter causes overnight sensations and waving calculations, computer simulations, detailed computations of the background fluctuations. Results are good and the prospects look bright. Here's a theory that works. Well, maybe not quite. Dark matter, do we need it? What is it? Where is it? How much? Where is it? How much? Where is it? How much? We have another puzzle that goes back to Robert Dickey. Finding a solution has proven kind of tricky. The CMB so smooth, it's as if there'd been a compact between parts of the universe that aren't in causal contact. Alan Groot says inflation will be our salvation. The smoothness of the universe, a causal explanation, and even make the galaxies from quantum fluctuations. There is one prediction from which it's hard to run. If inflation is correct, then omega should be one. Observers say stop, no sorry, it won't do. Check out these clusters, omega's point two. The theorists respond, we have an explanation. The secret lies in bias, galaxy formation. We're not short of critical mass density. Just some regions are missing luminosity. Observers roll their eyes and they start to get annoyed, but the theorists reply, there's dark matter in the voice. Dark matter, do we need it? What is it? Where is it? How much? Do we need it? Do we need it? Do we need it? Do we need it? Along comes Moti Milgram, who's here to tell us all, this dark matter clap clap has got you on the wrong track. You're all too mired in conventionality wedded to your standard theory of gravity, seduced by the elegance of general relativity. Just change your force law, that's the key. Give me one free parameter and I'll explain it all. Not so, claim Lake and Spurgle et al. On dwarf galaxies, your theory does fall. The argument degenerates, it's soon a barroom brawl. Dark matter, do we need it? What is it? Where is it? How much? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? New observations hit the theory like an ice-cold shower. They show that cold dark matter has too little logical power. Says people's cold dark matter, my feeblest innovation. An overly aesthetic theoretical aberration. Our theories must have firmer empirical foundation. Shed all this extra baggage, including the carrions whose particles we know, i.e. the baryons. Others aren't convinced, and a few propose a mixture of matter hot and cold. 
perhaps with strings or texture. And nowadays, some physicists are beginning to wonder if it's time to resurrect Einstein's greatest blunder. Why seek exotic particles instead of just assume that the dark matter's all around us? It's what we call a vacuum. Who's right? It's hard to know till observation or experiment gives overwhelming evidence that really leads our predicament. The search is getting popular as many realize that the detector of dark matter may well win the Nobel Prize. So now you've heard my lecture and it's time to end the session with the standard closing line. Thank you. Any questions?